Hi. I thought I'd make this little video and show you some things I've discovered by using Google Keep. Um, I've been a, an Evernote user for two or three years now and I've put an awful lot of stuff in there. But it wasn't doing exactly what I wanted to do and it's becoming very bloated with some of the tools. And I wanted something quick and easy and it was more linked to Google than, than Evernote could be. And so I started playing with Google Keep. And let me just show you some of the things I've got because you can do things like you would expect to do that you would make in, um, say, um, Evernote. And, and, and that is basically, let's make a title for this little note. So let's say uh, make um, PDF import of house. And let's put down here um, uh, import design and trace over and that's something i'm doing at the moment with autocad and let's just um go down to this before we finished and let's add some labels onto this and let's look drawing work and also i'm going to put down this one reminder now this is what keep says a task is it's a reminder to do something and this opens up an awful lot of interesting possibilities let's do that so um, there's the um, there's the one that I've just made and let's click on that which is the reminder button and let's make a reminder now I can put it here as later today tomorrow which are preset and I could change those quite easily but let's pick a time and date and let's go on to this and it'll bring up the calendar as you'd expect let's do Friday and I want to do it uh, at 8 a.m. so let's just click on that and change that and make that a.m. There you go. And let's just um, enter that and let's save it. And there it is, um, 4th of August, 8 a.m. in the morning, and it's drawing work, it's labeled in here, and it's on reminders as well. And if I go down here and I look at my um, drawing work tag, you'll see all the ones that I've got in there. And there's the one we've just made. And if I go back up to notes, I'll see all the notes I've got. Now, this is a test one that I've done, and it's got an awful lot of um, nothings into it. Let's have a look at this one as well. And let's make a reminder to read this article. And again, I'm going to pick um, a time and a date. And let's do the calendar again. And let's go up to August. And let's do the fourth again. This time, I'm going to say um, I want it. Um, let's do... Um, 16.00 p.m. And that's four o'clock in the afternoon. So, OK, that's done it. And let's save that one as well. Now, let's go over to my calendar. Um, and I've actually, no, wait a bit. Have I done this one as reading material? Let's do, have a quick look at this one. Let's add a label. And there's no reminder on this one. So let's do reading. And it says there is no reading tag. So let's create reading and it's already put it up. So I can click on that and I can open it up if I want to and I've done it. So let's let's just leave that alone. Now, let's go into Google Calendar. Now, this again is um, um, a test piece that I've got. Now you can see there's nothing up here at the moment. The first thing to check is that reminders is is switched on. See, normally when you get it um, using um, iCal, um, iCal, Google Calendar, your tasks are up here. And they're nothing more than little tiny headers at the top, which you have to look at. Nothing that's in the right place at the right time. So the first thing to do is to change tasks using the drop down, and then say, switch to reminders. Now you can see the ones that I created before are not there. So let's do a regen and it should show the ones that I've got up here. So they're in the right place at the right time. Now if I click on that and do viewing keep, it should take you to the actual document that you've just created. I'm not going to do it because it tends to take me onto my normal um, uh, Google keep, not the one that's on here. Don't know why that is and I've sent a note into Google to say why is this happening but 
generally, if you've only got the two, that's your normal account here, which is Google Keep, and your normal calendar on your normal account on your Gmail, then it should work absolutely fine. For some reason, it's not working, and I'm going to leave that alone. But that's Google Keep. It is very, very seriously good. If I go onto this now and say um, I want this one, um, I can start reading it. I can do what I like. I can use this to get onto it, and I've got the link there. And there's all sorts of things that I can do with it. I can uh, add another reminder. I can change the color of it. I can add an image. I can archive it. And there's more. Delete, change labels, add a drawing, make a copy. Or I can actually, on this particular one, because I've got the app, I can go to Google Docs and I can put it into there. So that's it, Google Keep. I'm using it an awful lot. It's very, very useful. I like the way that I can put a task up. I can keep a big note with all sorts of information in it. And then I can just put it as a reminder, put the right date and the time on. I can go to my calendar and I can see the actual item in the right place on my calendar as a to-do list rather than, well, it's not a to-do, it's a reminder to take a task on board and do it at that particular time. Hope that's good. Talk to you soon. Bye.